one billion that you're looking to spend in terms of AI, is that just a starting point for you? Uh, well, uh, it's I wouldn't call it a starting point, but I think it's a big stake forward. A, a billion dollars uh, uh, over three years is is on an even basis about three hundred million dollars a year, which is roughly uh, you know between two and a half and three percentage points of of uh, our revenue. So it's a big investment forward. But I also see the spirit of your question, and, and you are right in that sense, because I think over a period of time, almost everything that we are doing, we will have an, an element of uh, Gen AI or AI. And to that extent, I, that, I, I do believe that number can only go up and not come down over the years. Yeah, because that's... You did take the, the question exactly as it was intended, because I would imagine that, you know, especially considering what your your primary business functions are, are you at all concerned that if you don't go hard enough, don't go fast enough, that, you know, every company is just going to end up with their own, you know, chatbot assistants and, you know, it's going to be massively disruptive to your business? I think it's going to be exciting. If you see the history of, of this industry, with every new technological advancement, we have been able to serve our customers better, uh, faster, and in a more... Um, more efficient and effective way, both uh, effective ways, both. So, in a way, I'm excited because you know uh, this. This just means that we can do things much faster for our customers, who in turn can go faster to their own customers, and and overall cycle time as well as efficiency of of getting an outcome is going to compress significantly. One doesn't know what that number is going to be. But from what we all see from the early use cases, that is going to be a staggering uh, and fascinating at the same time uh, to the industry. And I think industry thrives on, uh, on new uh, innovations uh, like this uh, to remain mm. uh, more, more relevant uh, in, in times we live in. Jasin, I see that you're planning to train all of your 250,000 strong workforce on AI, but eventually how many of those workers will be replaced or displaced by that AI? But if you have to see how, uh, uh, how we are growing, and, and just to give you a context, we, we would have added about 100,000 more employees over the course of last few years. So this industry continues to grow. The industry continues uh, intellectual uh, sort of engine uh, to feed itself uh, for the growth that, that it drives over the years. Uh, so I'm not unduly worried about the existing uh, uh, sort of employees because we will continue to grow and employees will be able to participate in this new era of AI-aided technology services delivery for the organizations and they will become part and parcel of it and and everybody uh, everybody would do i would think uh, significantly more value-added work or value-added service to our customers than what they have been able to do in past so um so i'm i'm quite actually excited i'm not nervous about the impact it it, it could have or or otherwise i think our employees by design are 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 the type who constantly train themselves uh, with or without the help of mm. the company they work to be to be ready for future.